at ease, Sister Glory. I know what this is about. The Patriarch has sent the famous Desert Rangers to inquire after his son, Valor. I'll be with you in just a moment, Rangers. Justice is swift in God President Reagan's America. Well, well, so polite. Excellent. We have something we'd like to discuss with you, too. Ronnie, are you ready to begin the trial? Yes, Nancy. Uh, present the accused. Whoa, it talks. Thank you, husband. First, the heathen godfisher attacked three of our commandos, captured one, cut off his limbs, and sent him screaming into the sky. The gods of the sky must be appeased, or the nurturing rains will never come. Thus, we appease them with our sacred kites and the blood of unbelievers. Well, that doesn't sound very civilized. What's the other one done? There is no one in there but God President Reagan. Now please, no further interruptions. The other one, husband is a communist robot from the machine commune who trespassed on our land. Your designation is incorrect. We are a direct democracy. And I entered your lands to heal the injured humans. It is irrelevant whether one is communist. Co -co communist? Communist? As for the hippie, no one can be denied the promise that is, well, America. Let's give her a second chance. Go and, uh, send no more. Ha! Fools! The gods of the sky will devour you. Uh, thus is justice done in America. God bless us, and God bless God President Reagan. Sorry to keep you waiting. But matters of state must come first. I'm Mother Nancy Reliance, and this is my husband, God President Reagan. Welcome to the Shining City on the Hill. Funny you should ask. I have a proposal in mind that could get you one, as well as help you with your Valor Buchanan problem. Come and join Ronnie and I in the Western White House. We'll meet you in the sacred server room and discuss it there. Good day. Wow, the Desert Rangers! We don't get many famous folks around these parts. You're getting the VIP treatment, too. Meeting the God President face to face. I'm Sister Nancy Glory, by the way. Anything I can do for you? We take the name Nancy from Ronnie's original wife, back before the deluge of fire. It's the greatest honor a woman can achieve, being a Nancy. I love my Nancy. Oh, I love you too, Ronnie. Huh? Oh, we didn't do any of that. That was all the gold, President. Ain't that right, sir? <laughs> I have to protect my Nancy, don't I? Oh, Ronnie. You're making me blush. Oh, Ron is everywhere. He sees through every statue in this place. But the place he likes to be most is in the server room with Mother Nancy. Well, because the robot was a commie, obviously. But you never know with Ronnie. Last week, he spared a robot, killed two godfishers, and incinerated a tree. It's all part of his plan, though. I know that. Ronnie set her free. She's one of them crazy godfishers. They like to hang people's torsos onto kites and fly them up in the air. Supposed to attract demons from the clouds or something like that. 
Ugh. Disgusting heathen nonsense. It'll all go when we finally cleanse this place. This is Ronnie's land, his oil, and we ain't leaving. Not for cannibals, call me computers, pinko robots, or filthy plain savages. Not for anyone. Well, don't tell anybody I said so, but we kinda do. There's more and more of them all the time. They're moving into our oil field now. Of course, Ronnie blasts them whenever they get too close, but he ain't mobile, and Mother Nancy won't give me the troops I need to fight him. So, well, if you're looking for a paycheck, I told you we don't need saving. We just... Oh, let's just change the subject. What else do you need? You too, Rangers. Welcome to the Western White House. God President Reagan is expecting you. Please come in. What is this? Those are the Desert Rangers! They work for my father! You promised to keep me safe! Calm down, Valor. God President Reagan has everything under control. Well, now, welcome, patriots. N N Nancy and I, well, we appreciate your selfless service and want to thank you for it. You are true Americans and we'll go 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 good neighbors. Now then, Help yourself to some jelly beans, and let's get down to business, shall we? As you, as you know, as you know, no, no. You and I have a run, run, run ever with destiny. We'll preserve for our children this, the last best hope of man, 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 man on earth, or we'll sentence them to. If it takes a blood, 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 let's get it over with. Well. What do you say? Freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. How do you tell a co communist? Well, it's someone who reads Marx and Lenin. And how do you tell an anti-communist? -co it's someone who understands Marx and Lenin. We have every right to dream heroic dreams. Those who say that we're in a time when there are no heroes, they just don't know where to look. Why shouldn't we believe that? We are Ameri Americans. That's enough, Ronnie. You did very well. But it's bedtime for Bonzo now, okay? Okay, Mommy. Well, I'm sleepy. I know you are, darling. Night, night. Thank you for joining the God President and I in the sacred server room, Rangers. Before we discuss why you're here, I have a proposition for you. A favor that would make us look more favorably on your requests. I thought it might be that. Well, if you do a favor for us, we'll be happy to reciprocate. My husband, the God President, wishes to transfer his consciousness to a human body. To accomplish this, we must acquire a... What was it, Valor? A cybernetic transfer module. It's amazing. Basically, what it does is... That's enough for now, Valor. But yes, we must acquire this transfer module from the filthy communist robots that occupy the Denver airport. Or rather, we'd like you to acquire it, and bring it here, to us. Once God President Reagan has a human body, you'll be rewarded with money, a fine weapon, and we will relinquish our claim on valor, and restart the oil to Colorado Springs. Very well, but I warn you, I have a very limited supply of patience.
There are a lot of issues with the current hardware. The read-write heads alone are... They don't need such technical details, Valor. Suffice to say, though the vessel containing the God President was meant to be everlasting, that has proven false, and a new vessel is required. Ronnie has announced his preference for the vessel to be human. It's gonna be an amazing weapon. Have you seen the lasers on Reagan's statue? Like that, only handheld. Awesome! I'm working on it with Sister Nancy Forge. Well, I gave her the idea, anyway. Yes, Valor. As you say, an awesome weapon. And you shall have it, Rangers. Once Ronnie is human again, of course. Well? Agreed. But only after Valor helps us transfer God President Reagan into a new body. That's right. They can't do this without me. Yes, dear. Now keep working. Meanwhile, our home is at your disposal. I'll tell the sisters you can come and go as you please. Make America proud. Rebel program as a humanitarian project. Exemplary work, Rangers. I really didn't think you'd manage to recover the module. But Ronnie said to have faith. Oh my god! You've got it! He also said you convinced those commie robots at the airport to give it to you of their own free will. I don't know why you bothered. Now, before we fulfill our side of the deal, we must complete the transfer. This won't take long. Valor! Prepare the transfer equipment and prepare yourself to receive the God President's holy essence. Soon you will be a living God. Everything is ready, Mother Nancy Reliant. This will be the greatest day of my life. Until the day when you inherit Saul Buchanan's throne, for then it will be the God President who sits in it, thus increasing the holdings of the Gippers a hundredfold in a single stroke. Yeah. My father always said I'd never be a great leader. Ha! I will be the greatest! Your eagerness surprises me, Rangers. But of course, it's natural you would come around. This was Ronnie's divine plan. And you've seen the depravity of the machine commune. Valor, it's time. Now, Rangers, would you be so kind as to start? It will be the most delicious of ironies to have the Patriarch's emissaries give life to the leader who will eclipse him. Just connect the module to this council, and we'll begin. It's ready, Rangers. All you have to do is push the button. This is amazing! I can feel him! I can feel his mind all around me! Ignore that! The safety protocols must be turned off for the transfer to begin. What? Stop! 
Goodbye, Valor. I... I... Nancy, I think it worked. I feel... strange. I'm here, Ronnie. Everything's going to be all right now. The God President and I cannot thank you enough for your service. Your actions have allowed the birth of a new age. Truly, you are the midwives of liberty. The prizes, as promised, are new weapon prototype and a president's ransom in riches. Rest assured, the rewards for helping us will be great and ongoing. The oil will flow as promised. And if the Patriarch troubles you for aiding us, we will come to your side. God bless you, Rangers. Yup. <laughs> Thanks. Ronnie? I'm fine, Nancy. I'm fine. I feel smaller in here, but stronger, like a foot in a good boot. Rangers, I want to thank you for your unwavering support of me and my Nancy's and the good old U U USA. You're my kind of people. That... that's really not him now, is it? You killed Valor when the Patriarch specifically told you not to. God damn it, are you even thinking about Arizona anymore? Come on! Huh? Nancy, what are these jokers talking about? I said I'd release my claim on him, Rangers, and I have. But Ronald Wilson Reagan is his own man. If he doesn't want to leave, then we'll support his decision. <laughs> and I'm not going anywhere. Not when I've just reunited with my wife. W w wild horses couldn't drag me away. If that's what you want, Ronnie, the Gippers are behind you 100%, with all the fire and fury at our disposal. You're good, good, good people, Rangers. I, uh, you forget, you know, what a body is like. So many muscles and juices and soft parts. I'm sure m m Mommy will help me get used to it again. Oh, gross. Oh, Ronnie, you scoundrel. Well, he's not in here with me, if that's what you're asking. Yes, he went in, in, into the sunset. Well, it's been about a hundred years since I had a stink or some jelly beans. But after that, I guess Nancy and I will start kill, kill, killing communists and building that shining city on the hill. Won't we, Nancy? Yes, Ronnie dear. With you leading us, America's rebirth is our next battle. It will be glorious. Happy trails. <laughs> Partners. Thank you for helping us achieve our destiny, Rangers.